This is a day in Fort Worth when I played an afternoon gig at Panther Island Brewing Company and when it hit nighttime I was able to go not far from Panther Island Brewing to check out the Fort Worth Stockyards at night. So this is a look at the stockyards on a Saturday night which is the busiest night of the week here between 9 and midnight on Labor Day weekend. My initial plan was to bar hop all along Exchange Street, which is the main street along the stockyards. Now I was going to show all the major live music venues along the way, as well as any additional live music that I found around here, just to show you what you could see at the stockyards on a Saturday night. But I just ended up sticking to a two and a half block section of Exchange Street. So we're basically starting here from the stockyard sign and going up the hill and stopping at Ellis Avenue. Along this stretch you can find the restaurants that mostly serve up barbecue and steak and you can find some shopping for cowboy clothes as well as some places to stay like Miss Molly's Hotel is up here which is a famously haunted hotel that used to be a brothel and the Stockyards Hotel is located here as well where you can actually stay in a room that Bonnie and Clyde once stayed in. You can certainly do some good uh, people watching at the stockyards and it's not uncommon to see some couples uh, sitting along the sidewalk arguing with each other at the end of the night. One time when a woman was upset with a man here at the stockyards, I overheard that man say, why are you getting mad at me? She said, because you're the drunkest bitch I know. You act like a white girl. Well, my first stop of the night was at White Elephant Saloon. They call themselves Fort Worth's oldest and most iconic saloon. And the TV show Walker, Texas Ranger, which uh, Chuck Norris was in, they actually filmed at this bar and they called it CD's Bar and Grill in the hit TV show. And this place used to be located in a different area of Fort Worth that was called Hell's Half Acre. It was a place that was filled with prostitution and gambling and drinking and even gunfights. And I was able to get a few dances in there at the White Elephant and catch the music of Bubba Wesley. Now heading up the street from White Elephant, my next stop of the night was at Filthy McNasty's. Unlike White Elephant, which had a $10 cover charge, Filthy's was free to enter. And I think the patrons used their extra money here to buy extra shots. It's another place for people watching. And I was watching the bouncer watch these girls as they seemed to be trying to stand up on a chair. The bouncer said, we don't allow that in here. The band was actually really good despite the apparently inattentive crowd. Jack Waters was playing there. You can buy me at the store. Walking up the hill from there, I did find the Cantina Cadillac was open again. This place had closed down after a while after it caught on fire, and I had actually pulled into the stockyards on that night when it was on fire. To be honest, I didn't think it would come back, but here it is. Well, I didn't go inside Cantina Cadillac on this night. Instead, I paid $20 to go inside Lil Red's Longhorn Saloon while the State Line Band was playing. Most of the locals just call it Longhorn Saloon. And there is a regular crowd of locals that seem to come out to this place. So it is a bit of an older crowd with uh, less drinking but more back pain. I did manage to get a few dances in there and I did decide to make this my last stop of the night because it was cool and comfortable and they had a very talented state line band playing. I think they're based in Austin, at least I've seen them playing around the Austin area before. So that's a day in Fort Worth. I started off at Panther Island Brewing Company, not far from here, playing for some folks hanging out there, enjoying beers and barbecue, and gave you a glimpse of the stockyards at night. Good times. This is a dirty old town that won't give you any favors. It's a dirty old town that'll kick you where it hurts. This is a dirty Town. They're boarding up their windows You don't want to be around It'll wear you down this dirty old town I'm gonna get out of here as fast as I can 
Thanks for checking out this video. I post all about touring around Texas and the music scene of Texas here on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click on my channel and check out those thumbnails and see which video topics are interesting to you. Give those videos a view and thank you for giving this video a view.